Hey everyone, my name is Akshat and uh, today we have Nishant with, with us. Uh, first of all, many, many congratulations to you, Nishant. You've done amazing. You've cracked Informatica. It's such a lovely company. So how are you feeling about that, first of all? I'm doing, I'm feeling really great. So it's a, you know, it's a good company and I feel like uh, I'll be contributing, you know, a lot to their uh, product and I'll also in, the, in, in turn learn a lot of things. Right. Yeah, really be looking forward to that experience. Great. Awesome. And have you joined it yet? Or are you still uh, yet to figure out the joining date and everything? No, no. Uh, it's all figured out. It's actually I'll be joining next week. Right? Oh, um, so great. just, uh, it's, I mean, the notice period. All excited so. and summed up to join this new uh, company. Yes, yes, yes. I'm also moving to Bangalore. So new city, new company, lovely. all new things. You'll have fun. It's a nice city. Bangalore is a nice, lovely place. Anyway, so uh, many congratulations to you once again Thank for you, an amazing offer, to, uh, Nishant. Uh, so I would want to maybe ask a couple of questions to you to understand how your preparation journey was. First of all, before we go into all of that, can you introduce yourself to the audience, please? Uh, so hi, guys. So my name is myself, Nishant. Um, like uh, speaking of my uh, work background, I have been part of uh, Robot Thirty I for the past two years, and before that, I was in Rainbow Technologies in Chennai over a year over there. And I did my college in uh, Chennai, Sarah Technology. So yeah, uh, like uh, for the past three years, like I've been in a like in a small, small startup company like uh, right. Webu and Robot. So there I learned, you know, all the how like startup works in a small team. And uh, then I decided, okay, it's uh, why not got time to switch to a bigger role and you know solve problems that scale and those things so that's uh, when i joined uh moscow last year and mm. so then we did all the dsc courses and uh, LLD, HLD, everything. right oh so, yeah that's... so what made you decide to make the switch why um so yeah oh uh, the decided to switch because one i just wanted to you know go into a bigger company bigger role you know bigger opportunities you know the growth and right. you keep the one when you are working in a startup, it's a small team. You are, I mean, it's it's a kind of different experience. You are learning a lot of things. You are like you have a much say, right? You 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 directly control the product. Right. So that's a one good experience. But again, uh, like small startups are small. Like you know, uh, you grow this like you are growing there, but you know it takes time to get to a bigger picture. So that's right. why I decided. Okay, it's time to go to bigger. Yeah. So more corporate culture basically right yeah yeah, yes. yeah. makes sense makes sense makes perfect sense so uh, that's an amazing decision um you're gonna love it corporate cultures are great <laughs> being a part of fun for a very long time i can tell you it's a great uh, step to you step for you in your journey and you'll enjoy a lot lot in your new company so uh maybe can you uh, brief us a little bit about what were the struggles you were facing during this transition phase before joining boss coder academy Mm, so before joining most of the like uh, I I would say like I wasn't uh, consistent like I used to practice uh, here and there you solve some problems you know and like for weeks I would do and then I would leave it and uh, again I'll start I'll start from some scratch so it was basically all over the place so that's why I decided okay if I join both coder then at least I'll have that consistent regular switch schedule like i'll be able to do things in a proper pace manner right. right and from the guidance from the tutors and all those things right so that's why i decided to join yeah makes sense so um how did you get to know about boss coder which mm -hmm. i think i came across linkedin post right so some linkedin post was there so that's how i came into more the knowledge of it then i went to the website i found it interesting and uh, that, that's how i joined your due diligence to understand what we do, why we do, and how we do it, right? Yes, yes. I I asked uh, like when the before joining itself, uh, I asked the team like when the onboarding team, what's the process and how things will be, and what are the things who are going to happen. So they explained it to me very well and said, okay, you you might go through a six months or a six to seven months training period, and these all the things will happen, and they give a good picture. And I was uh, happy with it. So that's why I took the fine boss. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yes. Good decision, I must say. <laughs> yes. Uh, in hindsight, yes, it's of course a very good decision. 
yeah yeah great man so how did boss could it exactly help you achieve this uh, offer did did we do something different here yeah the, again the dsc part of the classes were really helpful again very much thanks to you <laughs> thank you for yeah. being part of the cohort and it feels really nice to uh, teach students as such help them out figure out what exactly is the underlying implementation behind dsa as such and to clear all those doubts it's such a nice uh, thing that we're trying to build over here but anyway uh, enough about uh, boss coder tell me about uh, you please go ahead yeah uh so yeah um I, again like uh, the dsa part uh, helped out me and the other concepts like uh, hld ld those were also covered that also like in my interviews i didn't get much of those questions but okay it's good to have those knowledge also right so right. maybe um, some other place i could have been asked those questions right. But for some reasons, like it didn't. So HLD and HLD are more uh, oriented for senior roles, actually. So HLD specifically, people that to dive deep into for senior roles when it comes to being a, let's say, a principal engineer or a lead engineer. There, we really need to have the knowledge for HLD. For freshers having, I would say, uh, one to three years of experience, DSA is more than enough. And then, of course, there's going to be some sort of requirement for low level designing, which we also try to provide as a part of the curriculum. Right. So you're right. We do try very hard to make sure you all get a wonderful experience with a structured curriculum. And we do try to make sure that every student is able to utilize the resources in the best possible manner. Cool. So uh, I, I believe like the structured curriculum and the mentorship support and one to one call effort. And of course, yes, yes, yes. mentorship. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, again a very important thing. Uh, right. Like my mentor was uh, Ujay Shada, sir, from your know, he's from Google. So he actually like, believe in me like i could just like a big offer he, he put that belief in me he used to we had i think four or three or four section sessions like be five i don't remember the exact count yeah but every session he would uh like he tell me okay you're doing very good you're being consistent you would put increasing words say you are in the top 10 percent like you're doing great so that motivation like kept me on the right track and he would also give me suggestions say like Maybe this is somewhere you're weak. Okay, try doing this. You push me towards uh, doing more contests. So that also helped me, you know, quickly thinking of coming up with solutions, that aspect. So yeah, he played a very critical role, uh, I would say, in my journey. Really nice to hear that, uh, Nishan, because uh, I think mentorship is very important when it comes to preparation as such. And with the right guidance, people can do wonders, right? So that's always there. So having said that, what is going to be your feedback about the course? Maybe you can answer this in terms of uh, uh, a train of thought that what were you doing differently? You joined Boss Coder post that. Did that perspective change for you after you, in, during your preparation zone as such? That you are maybe the uh, a little of unstructured approach people generally try to have because there are so many resources available online and we often tend to get confused regarding what should we pick up the... Uh, questions from should we follow this curated 75 uh, blind questions list should we go with the popular 100 top interview questions things like that right so did boss coder change that perspective given that you told me it had a structured curriculum for you mm, yes uh, uh, boss coder also gave me a set of, set of questions like uh, they had a pdf which i was getting around 100 questions 102 must do questions those were also very helpful Right. Uh, so again, uh, if you go to lead code, right, they also have that 75, top 75, top 150. I would say that's also very helpful. Like that's, again, it is all overlapping, right? So there are only a certain number of questions that companies choose, right? So it's an overlap of stuff. So if you if you pick one list, I would say just do it or go through it, like complete right. it and uh, stick with it. Uh, like try not to think about different lists, just one list is good enough. Like maybe the 75 or the 150 uh, or the boss coder questions that they give, that's uh, good enough. And in terms of your yeah, structured approach, like that was really helpful because like, again, I was in close of here, should I do which, which uh, uh, like uh, DSA now, or should I focus on HLD, should I focus on OS, should I focus on C++, uh, which I might extract. Which, which I like, uh, I was really confused. So when it came to boss coder, like they, like it, there is a syllabus, right? So I had just to go through the syllabus. So that helped, like I was overthinking, okay, what should I do now or should I do next? 
So first it was made that process made that easy. And yes, uh, so that's what I would say. The syllabus having in the course and you know having your friends like the uh, groups like the batches, right? So your batch mates, they are also doing stuff. So that community of people that is helpful. And I think the website that has one leaderboard, again, that's also like you know puts the competitive uh, aspect to it. Like right. I never tried to be on the top three or anything, but uh, just to be on try to admit in the studies of the top ten. Right. So that so that that's very helpful. Right. Makes sense. So um that's a really constructive uh, feedback, I would say, for uh, the entire curriculum that you've had. And and yes, the competitive aspect of the situation really pushes people to work harder, is what I feel, right? So uh that's that. So on a scale of one to five, how much would you rate this curriculum? Mm, on a scale of one to five, I would rate it uh, four and a half. I would say, right? Mm, like, uh, like uh, some. Uh, it was mostly all good, but some parts have been, could be improved. I think going forward, it will be improved. I think OS I felt was a little short, so that can be increased. Maybe you know having more classes on that. So, right. But apart from that, it was all great. Uh, nothing to complain about. Right. Lovely. So uh, thank you so much for providing all these insightful comments on these respective questions. I'm sure all the people watching this video will find it very insightful. And once again, many, many congratulations to you, Nishant, on bagging such an amazing offer by Informatica. I wish you thank all you. the best. And uh, may you do wonders in your new company. And uh, to all the people watching, you got this. Be consistent. That's the only thing which we try to keep push, uh, keep pushing. So be consistent with your uh, preparation. You sooner or later you will get into your dream company, and you'll do. You'll obviously bag amazing offers out there. So stay put, and I'll see you all the next time. Once again, thank you so much for being a part of this video, Nishant, and thank you, uh, thank you for providing your valuable, uh, insightful comments on all these uh, different situations. Anything you want to say to the audience, the prep, the people who are preparing right now? I mean, yes. Again, consistent guys. Be just keep doing like. Stay consistent. If you if you are feeling low, at least solve one question every day on the code. Just uh, at least like before going to sleep, just like make sure that you have learned something new today. Right. So any topic, it could be a really small topic or a small algorithm, like anything. But always make sure before you go to sleep, you have done that. Right. Yeah. No matter how much work is there, right. You can take. 10, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, like those short periods, you can just go through one property, one algorithm, anything. But mm. just do that, solve one question each day. And I'm pretty confident like anybody can crack any of them. Lovely. Thank you so much once again, Nishant, for saying those wise words. And uh, once again, all the very best and many, many congratulations from the entire team at Boss Coder. So yeah, thank you so much. Once again, take care, folks. Have a lovely, lovely day ahead. And I'll see you all the next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.